Welcome to Stino Diabetes Center North Denmark and to Aalborg University Hospital. Research has a prominent place in Stino Diabetes Center North Denmark. We focus on the specific needs of people with diabetes, decentralizing healthcare delivery and prioritize digital health in terms of technology and big data. Aalborg University Hospital has shown that bone fragility and fractures are a common complication of diabetes, and we are at the cutting edge of bone and diabetes research. We do research within bone quality, bone structure, bone microarchitecture and bone turnover. Bone scans, that is DEXA scans, quantitative CT, advanced measures of bone turnover as well as body composition. We also do research on postural balance in order to investigate the risk of falls and thus the risk of fractures. Diabetic neuropathy is a key research area in the Steno Diabetes Center. Our main focus is on the diabetic foot, the Charcot, arthropathy and diabetic gastroparesis. And also painful diabetic neuropathy and they very often result in very poor quality of life for these unfortunate people suffering. We are utilizing advanced imaging techniques and a number of other research and data-driven technologies to, to assess these late complications of diabetes. And the overall aim is to reach robust clinical endpoints that will result in better clinical care and perhaps even more importantly, in better clinical trials and outcomes of these. The diabetic foot is a major challenge globally. Aalborg University Hospital has been running a multidisciplinary foot centre since 2003 and with the Steno Diabetes Centre it is being greatly reinforced. On a research and data driven platform we aim to reduce the frequency of amputations and lower healing time. Efforts in the area of the diabetic foot include focusing on the Sciacco arthropathy and we have a great history in the Steno Diabetes Center looking at bone and we're currently setting up a number of PhDs, uh, that is a PhD program in this area. The diabetic gastroparesis is another neuropathy driven complication and at times it affects people very badly, affecting quality of life. It also affects glycemic control and it affects drug absorption. Our gastroenterology department has a number of uh, innovative methods with which we can assess these complications. The transition from childhood to adulthood can be challenging, and diabetes can lead to even bigger troubles in this period of life. The Clinic of Transition at the Steno Diabetes Center is a multidisciplinary team of experts from both the pediatric and adult diabetes teams that supports adolescents in their handling of diabetes during this especially vulnerable period of life. Individualized treatment programs are being planned, taking the wishes and needs of young patients into account. Good day. Good day. Digital solutions also make telehealth care and consultations over distance possible. This is in high demand by younger patients and may even be able to replace some scheduled visits to the hospital. The new Aalborg University Hospital is now under construction and the Steno Diabetes Centre will move into new state-of-the-art facilities for diabetes treatment in 2022. Our vision is to improve the quality of life and lifespans of people with diabetes, to create a coherent diabetes treatment close to the individual citizen, and to halt the increase of new onset diabetes. <laughs>